Hey everyone, it's Rav Natan over here. Sorry I haven't done a video in a very long time. Things have been mad. We've started a whole new podcast called Boys Club. Uh, things are going really well in a whole lot of different areas. Um, thank God, really, I think affecting a lot of people, sending a lot of good messages to people. Um, let me know if you see my stuff out there. Uh, let me know what you think. I wanted to just share with you Something quite powerful that happened for me today. I um, I got some really bad news. A friend of mine, her husband was was murdered uh, in South Africa last night. Um, yeah, um, I had a bit of frustration on something else that was going on in my life, and I took all of that frustration, all of that emotions out on somebody very very close to me. Um, I apologize to them. This is not a public. Uh, sorry to that person <laughs> we uh, we dealt with it um, you know between us the point is like this um, it was a very very strong moment for me and I think a lot of people get into this place um, unless I'm the only non-perfect person in this world uh, and that is that not often enough do we ask ourselves before we enter into a conversation with another person especially if we think it might be a difficult one where am I? Where am I? Like God, uh, God asks a, uh, Adam and Eve when they eat from the tree and then they run into the garden and they're hiding. God doesn't just pounce on them and go, Hey, dudes, why did you do that? I'm angry at you, whatever, whatever. He says, Ayeka, where are you? What space are you in? Before I talk with you, I want to know, and I think you should know, what space are you in physically, spiritually, and emotionally? Before we enter into conversations with people, especially like me this morning, I knew I was in a bad space. I should have just stopped, thought for a second, where am I? Oh, Natan, you're in a bad space. Don't even enter into this conversation with anyone. But I didn't. And uh, whatever prices there are to pay for that, there are to pay for that. Uh, maybe the positive prices that I can maybe inspire someone else not to do something stupid like I did this morning. But anyway, the point is we need to ask ourselves, where are you? Ayeka, where are you before you enter into a conversation? If you're in a physically, spiritually, emotionally bad place that you know that what is going to come out is not beneficial, is not something that is going to grow you or grow another person, then just be quiet for a second. Just stop. Make sure that you're in the right space. It doesn't mean a good space the right space to deliver the message that you need to deliver. And now, the other side of that is, I don't think we only need to ask ourselves, Ayeka, where are we? We need to ask the other person, Ayeka, where are you? Now, we may be able to say that, hey, darling, or child, or boss, or work, or whatever it is, is this a good time to talk? We may be able to do that, but we may not. Sometimes we just need to pick up on their feelings. Uh, did they have a bad night's sleep? Uh, are they not feeling well? Uh, are they grumpy at me? If they are, if they don't seem in, their, in the right space, well then maybe we should wait and say, darling, whoever it is, can you tell me when there's a good, a good space for you? I really need to talk to you about something. Ayeka, where are you? We need to ask ourselves, where are we? We mustn't just jump into things. I mean, there are lots of things that we should just jump into. Like three quarters of what I'm doing for the past year and a half, I'm jumping, I'm jumping into. By the way, if you've seen our new podcast, Boys Club, or if you haven't, you're one of the only people who haven't, so uh, look at it, Boys Club, it's on SoundCloud. Um, anyway, side point, the point is, ask ourselves where we are before we jump in the deep end. Make sure that we're in the right space to tackle what we need to tackle. Uh, it doesn't mean put it off forever. But especially if it's going to affect another person's feelings or our feelings, let's try to make sure to check ourselves out, check the other person out first to make sure that it's going to be beneficial. Now, beneficial doesn't mean that it's not a difficult conversation. It can be a difficult conversation. But even more so, if it's going to be a difficult conversation, let's make sure that we are in the right place to deliver it or the other person is in the right place to hear it. hope that wasn't a babble. I hope that uh, that maybe taught us something. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to try and do a video a day. I'm going to try to do a very, very short video a day. I'm going to be honest with you where I am um, and see what we get out of it. Have a good one. Bye. God bless.